Hello, I'm Stanley. I'd like to show you how you can use the Plan Swift software for measuring site area, ground floor area, external perimeter, trench guard, and wall guard of uh, either AutoCAD or PDF drawing. We'll be working with uh, this drawing, and uh, these are what we'll be looking at. So, I've, uh, I got the Plan Swift software opened. So, the drawing should be in a folder this is the folder on your desktop so you can see this is the drawing so you put the drawing in the folder then you import the whole folder into the plan swift software watch me as I do it you click new job then you give it a job code you can give, give it let's say job code one then give it a description it's one bedroom flat work then you change this to metric you click next then select the folder click next next finish yeah this is the drawing it has been <coughs> imported into the plan switch software so the first thing you do is you scale the drawing the reason for scaling is uh you pick a known scale we are using a let's use 10.5 meters select the beginning start point and end point then you check what you scaled using dimension let's check using a similar dimension at the downside see so the reason for scaling is to give uh, the software a benchmark uh, you can also call it a reference point for doing a subsequent uh, measurement works by doing uh, this uh, old scale by new scale stuff so after having done this uh, let's measure the ground floor area you select area new area you give it a description ground floor area you can change the color if you want to but I think this color is good click ok then you start from the beginning start point then to the other edge you see if you hover your mouse the ground floor area is 61.35 so let's put it 61.35 square meter so the next is the external perimeter if you hover your mouse here you can see uh 32.70 meters on below the area there's something showing linear total that linear total is the external perimeter of the of the ground floor so we've used a bed to, a stone to kill two beds so the, the external perimeter is 32.70 32.70 meter as you are measuring the ground floor is, the software is also measuring the external perimeter so the next we'll be looking at is uh, the trench cut so you can off this so you, the trench guard the trench guard is in linear so you click this you give it a trench guard okay so let's take it from here to this point stop here there's a column here, column pit. We'll continue after the column pit. But when we are doing wall guard, we take everything, including what you have in the column pit. Stop here. Yeah, that's the external. External guard. So let's continue with the internal guard. Taking it center to center. I'm gonna stop here because it's in centers. So the uh, 
let's take this wall continue take this wall continue take this wall using a very short Y we get our gut done it's remember we're going center to center so this is the last wall and uh yep we're done with the cut so you click this to get uh the total guards if you check the left part of the drawing of the screen you see 52.7 meters in the trench guard double click you click advance you can also see it here 52.72 meters so uh okay let's record that yeah 52.72 meters so the next is the the wall guard so let's off this and let's say wall guard Can leave it leave the line to be green take from one edge to the other edge and then just like we did before while calculating the trench cuts the only difference is that uh the wall guard we didn't uh, stop at the column pit we because the wall enters the column pit but the trench stops at the edge of the two edge of uh, the column pit but you know you have walls inside the column pit so just tracing the walls on the floor plan yeah, this is the last click escape and uh, see the wall guard is uh, 50 okay we forgot to do this because normally the wall guard should be more than the trench guard yes the wall guard is 53.3 meters so put that here 3.3 meters so the site area from the site plan scale the drawing first you can scale it using 30 meters this then you click area you give it a site area start from here to this place over your mouse you can skip over your mouse see 453 meters square 453.1 square meter so with this you can uh use these uh, values for your taking off using a uh, eqs software so when you open the eqs software eqs2 software you can insert these values so this is how we came about the values we are using in the previous videos in a very short while we've got to in our 
trench guards, wall guards, external perimeter, ground floor area, and site area. So it's very nice to use them um, both software side by side. Thank you.